How to code out BMW F20 slash F30 TPMS using ENET cable and eSys. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore the world of automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. Today, we've got something exciting for you. So stick around and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Let's get started. Let's go through the detailed step-by-step -step process of coding out the BMW F20 slash F30 TPMS tire pressure monitoring system using the eSys software tool and an ENET cable. By following these instructions, you can switch from TPMS to RPA, run flat indicator, or RFA, tire deflation detection, in your BMW vehicle. Preparation 1. Start the car engine. Begin by starting the car engine and leaving it running throughout the coding process. 2. Connect to the car. Connect to your car using a BMW ENET cable. Reading the current vehicle order, FA. 3. Go to Expert Mode. In eSys, go to the Expert Mode tab on the left side and select Coding. 4. Read the vehicle order. In the coding screen, press Red in the top box. Once loaded, save the current vehicle order as a backup, e.g., Car FA with TPMS. Creating a new vehicle order. 5. Access the FA folder. Navigate to the eSys data folder on your PC and locate the FA folder. 6. Copy the FA file. Copy the FA file and rename the copy, e.g., without TPMS. Editing the vehicle order. 7. Open the new FA file. Go back to eSys and select the Editors and Viewers tab. Then, choose the FA Editor option. 8. Open the new FA file. In the FA Editor, click on the button with three dots in the top box where it says File Name and open the file you renamed, e.g., without TPMS. 9. Calculate FP. Right-click on the FA folder and select Calculate FP. More folders will appear on the right side, allowing you to change the FA. 10. Navigate to Solapa Element. Expand all the folders by clicking on the plus signs, plus symbol, until you find the folder, Solapa Element. 11. Remove 2VB code. In the bottom box, find the Solapa Element containing order codes. Remove the 2VB code, in the comma from this box. 12. Save the edited FA file. Press the Save Disk icon at the top toolbar to save the edited FA file, writing the new vehicle order to the car. 13. Go to VCM, navigate to the Expert Mode tab, and select VCM. 14. Open the new FA file. In the Vehicle Order box, click the button with three dots and open your file labeled without TPMS. 15. Calculate FP. Right click on the FA folder and select Calculate FP to fill in the vehicle profile. 16. Write the new FA to the car. In the Vehicle Order box, click the Master tab and select Write FA FP to write the new vehicle order back to the car. VO coding the ECUs. 17. Go to Coding. In Expert Mode, go to the Coding section. 18. Load the correct FA file. Ensure the top box is populated with the new vehicle order without TPMS. If not, press Load and load the file. 19. Activate FP. Right-click on the FA folder and select Activate FP. 20. Read SVT. In the SVT actual box, click on Read SVT and save the file as a backup. 21. VO code the ECUs. Scroll down to find the ECUs you want to code, such as DSC, NBT, ICM, Combi. Right-click on each yellow folder and select Code to perform VO coding. Post-coding tasks. 22. Reset the clock and clear warnings. After coding, you may see errors about DTC, ABS, RDC failures, and the clock on the black panel display may need resetting. 23. Disconnect. Turn off the engine and disconnect the ENT cable. 24. Clear spurious warnings. Turn the engine on and off to clear any spurious warnings. Optional step. 25. Remove fuse number 132. In some US slash can F30 slash F20 models, it may be necessary to remove fuse number 132 found in the rear fuse box in the trunk. By following these detailed steps, you should successfully code out TPMS from your BMW F20 slash F30 series vehicle. Always ensure to save backups of your FA files before making any changes to the vehicle order. That's a wrap for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this dive into the world of automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more great content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.